development is something that I've done for 15 years and I've issued a report 66 pages long that covers everything that I've personally achieved uh, from breaking the log jam of 45 years on the um, construction of the National Highway Bypass, seeing it through to a successful conclusion, bringing in the William Port, helping that at every stage of its development, bringing in the multi-specialty hospital, the development of the airport, of the international airport under the PPP scheme. I have brought in the UAE consulate using my personal relationship with the foreign minister of the UAE. All this, of course, much earlier before the BJP government. But since the BJP government has come, I have continued to stand to express the voice of the people of Trivandrum in Delhi. And I've been able to stand for the kind of values that we, we really cherish in Kerala of inclusivity, inclusive development, and seeing all religions as brothers. The fraternity of our people is very important to us. All of that has been part of my message. So development on the one hand, but my political stands on the other have both been indispensable parts of what I've tried to mean for the people of this country and of my constituency. Also, Kerala CM also alleges that uh, UDF MPs, especially uh, uh, Congress MPs, are silent in major issues in Parliament. Uh, that's really ridiculous because I don't think anyone has spoken more often in major debates than I have. He was specifically referring to the CAA, but the truth of the matter is that the CAA, I objected to the bill when it was introduced, saying it was inviolative of the Constitution. I spoke in the debates against it. I actually objected when Amit Shahji spoke. I also went to Shaheen Bagh, I was the first MP, to go and meet and address the mothers protesting, the grandmothers protesting in Shaheen Bagh. And when the KPCC in Kerala conducted protests, I inaugurated seven of them in seven different district headquarters here. So I certainly have a record that can easily be established by Google. The problem is the chief minister apparently doesn't even have people who can look up Google for him and therefore he makes these completely baseless allegations. The Congress and the UDF and the UDF includes the Muslim League were far more outspoken on this issue in parliament and outside parliament than his colleagues, uh, his parliamentary colleagues from the left. So now that the Radarshan has decided to the movie, the Kerala story, today night. To be honest, that's utterly shameful because when the Kerala story came out, everyone pointed out this is not the real Kerala story. Kerala is a state of social harmony. It's a state of social harmony and coexistence. It is not a state that is some sort of mini Pakistan as the film tries to show. And yet, the lies of this film are being officially circulated and official broadcaster it's truly disgusting. It's propaganda at its cheapest and worst. And I will say to you that as far as the country is concerned, uh, this is not at all something that anyone would admire or respect. And in Kerala, it's only going to create a backlash against the people who are spreading such vile falsehoods about our state. Do you think it's as part of election? Do you think it's, it's as part of election? I'm sorry, I didn't hear your question. Oh, definitely, no question about it. We know that the autonomy of Rudashin is guaranteed under the Prasad Bharati Act, but the BJP government doesn't understand the meaning of autonomy. They have compromised the autonomy of every institution, including Rudashin, and this broadcast is meant to serve purely the political interests of the ruling party. And people can see through that. Kerala are educated. They're not going to be easily fooled.